It is 12 noon. I'm Bob Montgomery. We're following some breaking news now in Marshall County. The mother of a dead toddler in Plymouth has just admitted her role in the case. Christy Levanway pleaded guilty to a neglect of a dependent resulting in two-year-old Serenity Wilson's death. WSBT 22 Zach Crenshaw was the only television reporter in the courtroom this morning. He is live in Plymouth and we understand this morning, Zach, that also there was a change of a plea agreement originally. Yeah, and that is not something you see often, Bob. The judge explained to LeVanway that by entering a plea of guilty, she was waiving her right to a trial and accepting whatever sentence he chose to hand down in the charge of neglect of a dependent resulting in death. That's a level one felony, and with it, it carries a 20 to 40 year prison sentence with a recommendation for 30 years. And whatever he sentences her to, she'll have to serve 75% of that time. LeVanway told the judge she understood and said, I'm guilty. The county prosecutors read a statement into the record saying that two year old Serenity Wilson, LeVanway's daughter, was, quote, an obvious victim of child abuse with multiple injuries and in various states of healing, end quote. Prosecutors also said that LeVanway told them she knew her boyfriend Shane Weedling punished Serenity physically and that she did as well. After the hearing, I asked the Marshall County prosecutor if LeVanway's decision surprised him. At this, at this stage of the proceedings, um, the facts are pretty clear of what took place. That, so that does not surprise me that she would admit in open court that th those facts took place. Prosecutor Chipman said he could not get into the details, but told me he does plan to file additional charges against LeVanway this afternoon. I asked him how this would impact Shane Weedling's case. He said if that case does go to trial, he plans to call LeVanway to testify. Now I'm continuing to gather more information and coming up tonight at 5, hear how LeVanway responded to my questions as she was leaving court. Reporting live in Plymouth, Zach Crenshaw, WSBT 22 News.